Well, it's October 9th and I spent another week cleaning up the farm and not really making any videos, but got lots done. Latest update is there's 49 cars out of there now. Still some more there. I'm keeping some and fighting for them. And, well, there's, I think there's two more going tomorrow on Saturday. So that's more good news for some people. Right, kitty? So, I haven't been this, well, it's been a, what, a week now since I put a video on. So, that's my update. Now let's get to the Cash for Clunkers program from the USA. A lot of people ask me to comment on this, and now that it's all over, I will. And since it's pouring rain out, I have to make a video indoors anyways. So, let me show you the news clips, which are <laughs> interesting and very sad. Almost made me cry. I'm uh, backing up my story with a story from the National Post on October 2nd. And here's the points that I found the most interesting. The most common vehicle traded in was Ford Explorers, or Exploders, not one of my favorite vehicles. Well, before I get into more funny details and interesting details, my opinion on this was it wasn't a green program like it was meant to sound. It was a program to help save the economy. And they're claiming it did save 21,000 jobs, which is probably true. Now that it's over, auto sales fell 25% in the USA. Well, that's a given. My belief is that leaving most of those cars on the road, the, the, the not really bad ones, until their life ran out, or for a few years longer, would have put less bad gases like carbon or whatever in the air than uh, people building all those new cars. You know, to drive to work to build those cars, all the energy to use to melt the steel, roll it, melt it down the vehicles that they traded in, to ship everything across the oceans like the rubber and the plastics and the oils, to make that stuff. No, it wasn't a green program. It was just a program to stimulate the economy. Now some parts that might make a guy like you and me cry. Imagine that. For 4500 you would trade in your Bentley Continental R, or a Martin DB7, or a 87 Buick GNX Grand National type car with only 547 produced. Oh my god and two Aurora cars, like those Shelby Cob Cobra replicas? That's absolutely ridiculous. And also two people I mean, traded in those Roush souped up 450 horsepower Ford F-150 trucks, like 2006. Now, why would they do that? It doesn't even make sense. It says here those things are worth like $55,000. This program was supposed to have people buy more fuel-efficient vehicles, but the stipulation was that they just had to be two miles per gallon more fuel-efficient than the supposedly old clunker you traded in. Yeah, and a lot of people bought trucks. You can see here how many Ford F-150s and how many Chevys and Silverados and that stuff were sold. But alas, the number one selling vehicle through this program was a Toyota Corolla. Ha, ah, Toyota's my favorite. So, can't complain too much. They they did sell more Toyotas than anything else. So I guess it all boils down to this was a love it and hate it or a love it or hate it program. We did get a lot of crappy vehicles off the road. We did waste a hell of a lot of perfectly fine cars and we didn't save anything in greenhouse gas emissions. We actually in the future eventually cost us more greenhouse gas emissions. We did save some jobs and we did stimulate the economy. So. I guess it's overall sort of a win-win situation, but <laughs> it wasn't exactly as planned.